Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do just a little unboxing today. Nothing big and fancy. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I saw something online that I really couldn't resist getting, and I thought you guys might be interested in it too. If you recall a little while ago, and it's been a while, I did a video of ceramic versus steel blades, and uh, it's an interesting video. So you can, you can check that out. If I figure the, the mystery of how to do the cards versus the, you know, used to be able to do in-video annotations, which was really easy to put a link in wherever you wanted, and now YouTube changed that up, but I'll try to figure that out and put a link in for you so you can check them out. Otherwise, I'll put something in the description so you could, you could see that, but it was an interesting video, and believe it or not, this, the ceramic held up a lot better than steel in some cases. So I saw this new brand, or new to me anyway, of ceramic knives, and some of them look really, really nice, and I wanted to check them out. So, without further ado, let's take a look. So this is Cool Hand. This is the three inch, there you go, that's not descriptive at all. So I'll have to go ahead and put some text in here to give you exactly what the model number of this is, but found it on Amazon, uh, a little bit pricey, on kit, you know, for some of the other ceramic knives I have compared, but it's got some really nice styling to it, so. Let's just get into this. Comes with one of these gift box packagings that they like to have, little magnetic closures over there. Comes with, oh. Well, that'll teach me to not read the specs and just go by pictures. I thought it was bigger than this. But anyway, okay. So it comes with a nice little microfiber cloth for cleaning and care, which, it's nice to have, yeah. So this is this is a lot smaller than, than the pictures made it appear, and yeah, like I said, it's my fault. I didn't read the specs. I just got excited at seeing it, but it's not any smaller than a CRKT Kiss, which I have a few of and I like, so let's just be excited that it looks nice. So really, really nice machined, sculpted G10 scale there, and there are multiple colors you can choose. I just chose the blue and black because it's the one that appealed to me most. It's a nice little frame lock. Very, very light, obviously, it would have to be with anodized hardware on there. This is ceramic, but you would never tell by looking. I mean, it's, it's so well done and so reflective, it looks like metal, doesn't it? Very smooth. really smooth action. It's just so tiny. I was hoping for a full-sized uh, kind of knife. Not one of these little tiny gidgets to carry around. But for those cases where you just want something small in your pocket, it's a nice Warncliffe blade. I'll have to put the specs as text in there. And it's very, very humid out here, so this paper is not nice and dry when it comes to cutting. I'm wondering how that's going to affect the paper test and edge test here, but we'll see. Yeah, it's definitely affecting because it can bite into the paper and it's clearly very sharp, but it's giving it a hard time once it gets in there. But this blade is kind of sharp enough to shave with, really. So that's nice. So not bad. Like I said, just a quick unboxing. Cool Hand. It's a brand I would like to try more, and I would like to actually not get excited over a picture and read the specs and get something more full size from them and see how it goes so I can actually do an effective test of it. But I don't know if I'm happy paying what I paid for this, for this size. It's a, it's a nice, it's a really, really pretty looking knife. I'm not sure how effective and tactical this size would be, but it's definitely good to carry as like a second. So that's it. I'm gonna have to carry around a little and report back to you guys. All right, that's it, down and dirty. I got another video I gotta get to right now, which is based on a request that a few subscribers have had to 
test the real steel bush knife and to do an unboxing and a review of it and, and stuff like that. So that video will be up next. But all right, guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll be back in real soon.